Welcome! Are you here to take part in the treasure trove contest? I guess it's that time again. Um, should I? Yes, I'd love to participate! Oh, you're pretty motivated. Then let's get you signed up. I wasn't sure if we were gonna have enough participants to open the contest, but we do now! Get ready right away! Alright! I'm used to it now, so I'm always prepared! Okay, then go straight to the stage as always and be ready for your turn, please! We shall now begin our customary event, the Thrilling Treasure Contest! First, we'd like to ask the organizer to say a few words. <clears throat> to all the ladies and gentlemen who are kindred spirits, I am the organizer of this contest, Harry Olsen! As the organizer, I promise to go all out to win this contest, just like I did last time. And this time, I'm looking forward to finding a challenger who can compete with me. In other words, is what that means. And I want this contest to eventually become the world's... Okay, since this can go on forever, let's cut it right there. Thank you so much. Now, let's start the thrilling treasure contest! Now, before we get to the competition, let's meet all of our exhibitors. Everyone, please give us a short introduction. First up is our organizer who was just introduced, Mr. Harry Olsen. Please keep it short. Why, hello! I hope you're all having fun. I shall show you all my collection. Up next is the self-proclaimed great witch, Miss Thrillbell. <laughs> I'll earn the win with a secret item that's passed down among witches. Our next exhibitor came from a faraway land and works as a bodyguard, Miss Linka. I am not sure what this is all about, but battling is my forte. I will win. And here's our final exhibitor, Ms. Aisha. Y yes Um, so well. Uh, I'll do my best. Okay, thank you very much. I'm so excited to see what kind of items will be shown. Continuing on, I'd now like to introduce all the judges. First is Mr. Harry Olsen, whose privilege for being the organizer allows him to serve as a judge. <laughs> People, I expect to see an item that'll surpass mine. Although I'm sure that's a tall order. Okay, how childish. And please allow me, the host, to be a judge as well. Items that'll sell in the store. I mean, I'll be looking forward to all the wonderful items. Now, our next judge is an official who tediously carries out her duties throughout the region, Ms. Marion. <clears throat> I'll be giving strict evaluations, so be ready. Our next judge travels to various places as a peddler, the good-natured Mr. Ernie. Hello. I'm excited to see what kinds of items are going to be presented. Good luck, everyone. Okay, that concludes the judge introductions. Everyone, please put all your might into your judging. Now I'd like to go ahead and start the contest. Contestants, please get ready for your turn. Looks like it's starting. I need to decide which item to exhibit. I need to try my best and choose something the judges might like. Let's see.
I would now like to start our contest. First contestant, come on down! Well, this item comes with my highest recommendation. I'm convinced that there are no other items like it in the world. Okay then, judges. Please assess these items carefully. Start your assessments now! Then, judges, please assess these items carefully. Start your assessments now! I decided on after multiple examinations and inspections. Please judge it well. Okay then, judges. Please assess these items carefully. Start your assessments now. Exhibitor, Aisha, please come on down! Uh, okay, thank you for having me! Now, what will the results be? Let the assessment start! Announcing the results! The winner is... Ms. Aisha! Congratulations! Oh, me? Really? Wow, they were all great! I'd like to ask our event organizer, Mr. Harry, to comment on the results. Um, it looks like I let too much of my guard down and unexpectedly missed the win. Even so, going all out against a girl is unbecoming of a grown man, so, you know, I hope you all understand. So, in other words, what I want to say is that it won't be this easy next time. I'll be the next winner! Just be honest and congratulate her! Now, let's have a word from our winner! Huh? Oh, y yes uh, I'm very happy! Okay, thank you very much! And one more time, congratulations! Well, everyone, thank you so much for sticking around till the end! Please look forward to the next contest! Should I send 
emphasize. Is this okay?
Let us start as always. Aisha, this is cruel. This is very, very cruel. Wh what's wrong? Are you hungry again? Has your image of me solidified as a starving young man? That's cruel too in its own way. I am certainly hungry, but... That's not the problem. Right now, I'm grieving over my misfortune for being abandoned by the goddess of music. 
she's not blowing a wind with a new melody to me. But I'm sure you've been working hard, so it'll come to you someday. But when will that day come? As I continue to wait, the seasons continue to come and go. Oh, Aisha, I beg of you, please take me to a place where the wind blows. A place where the wind blows? I, I wonder if he wants me to take him to a cliff. Oh, hey, Aisha. How you been? Huh? Who's this person? Who, me? I'm Rannan. I'm a seeker of sounds. Huh? That was a very simple introduction compared to mine. Uh, sounds? And who are you? Won't you introduce yourself after asking for my name? I'm Ernie. I do trading for a living. I've also known Aisha for a long time. Oh, what a coincidence. I've been in Aisha's care multiple times as well. <laughs> care? There is no need for a useless obstacle to come between us. Right, Aisha? Um, I'm not really sure. Aisha, can I have a word with you? That person is no good. I'm getting a seriously bad vibe from him. Huh? Really? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. My intuition is rarely wrong. That can't be true. Sure, he's a little different, but... He doesn't work so that he can put all his effort into music. That's weird. In short, he doesn't work, and he's always just wandering around, right? I think it's more of... He's always trying to come up with new music. A life without contributing to society is meaningless. Is it possible that he doesn't even have a house? I've never seen Ernie react to anyone like this. Hey! Leaving me out of the conversation and whispering on and on to each other is quite rude, you know. Rannon, I understand your situation. You must be in a lot of trouble, right? What? You're right. I'm in trouble because there weren't any sounds of the wind. But there's a part of me that thinks my agony might make me look cool. I don't know about sounds or the wind, but other than that, I believe I can help you instead of Aisha. Huh? You? <laughs> oh. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Yes, something about the compatibility of our wavelengths. And that is something I cherish the most. I don't admire how you use such a childish system for the basis of your social relationships. I believe that what connects people to each other is a well-grounded relationship based on mutual trust. <laughs> I wonder on what grounds he determines what is well grounded. Oh, I get it. Ernie and Rannon have a totally opposite way of life. Now that I think about it, they're like oil and water. Hmm, what should I do? Don't worry, Aisha. I'll take full responsibility for bringing this person to his senses. By my senses, I'm perfectly fine. I've already got full control of them. There's no reason to hesitate. Come on, let's go. Oh, I hope this ends up okay. <laughs> <laughs>